All right, well, today's the day to chop them corn stalks. It's about 70 degrees out, just shocking. And anybody that's ever watched my videos more than five seconds knows that this ground dries fast. It's a uh, gravel bottom, so about two, three days of this sun and nice breeze, and we get dry, so we're going to pull the H out. First, we got to fire up the M, get that backed out, and we can pull that out, get it hooked up to the hog, chop some stocks, dog and stocks, Deutschland. you don't see too often. You got the H purring at half throttle. You got the M over there purring at about a third throttle. And we're ready, man. First field work of spring of 2022. The H is about to give them heck. Let's go, let's grow. real hard to line that up when the pit slides. Most of you know these old tractors do not come with live PTO. What's that mean? It means when you push the clutch in and you have something like this, this brush hog hooked up behind you, the force from the blades in this PTO shaft keep you moving forward. And what this does essentially is give you live PTO. Now, one thing I do want to tell you with this is most of the time when you're using an overrun clutch, you will need to take down your PTO shaft probably an inch or two. And where I notice the difference mainly is when you're turning. You'll get a weird kind of uncomfortable stress kind of sound on the PTO shaft itself so you add this you know I figure at least that much you know start there and you're better off cutting it not enough and trimming it down as needed than to overcut it so start trimming it at an inch and see if that works maybe you don't even have to at all but I know I, I've always had to when I run an overrun clutch so there you go and it's even got a grease fitting there. It's like everything else in this world. So that's locked in there. Well, we're locked and loaded. We're ready to go. I do need to get a pin in the bottom of that pin so nothing stupid happens. I can tell you, as heavy as this thing is, if that dropped out, it would be all kinds of stupid and ugly. I don't even want to know what the potential result would be, but other than that, we're ready to roll. And you know what that means. First of the year, regulators mount up. First gear just 
putting along. And really what I'm looking at is what all needs hog. And now that I'm uh, elevated on the situation, I see a lot more hogging, hogging stocks than just the stocks themselves. So, yeah, I might be doing some hogging beyond the video. That's for sure. But yeah, I think I'll start right here and just go for broke. And uh, I found that spike antler. Makes me wonder where the other one is. <laughs> or where it's going to end up. One thing about having a farm field next to a softball field, tell you what, somebody hit a serious homer with this ball. And then there's another one over here. I mean, I might as well just throw them back over to them then run them over with the mower. Somebody will enjoy them, it just won't be me. Yeah, this one's been here a while. They've developed a pretty good uh, league. They're at their, their state level softball and varsity. It took them a while. If I see any other ones, I'll throw them out. 
Yeah, that's today's rig, rigmarole, and that is a 1945 H H ski. This this tractor here has been pretty much designated as a planting and brush hog tractor, and uh, it it it's just perfect for the roll. It's the right size. I've had a couple guys come on the channel and be like, "Oh yeah, that H is." is gutless oh yeah it's 26 horsepower it's not 110 it's 26 it it has its role and it certainly has a role on my farm and uh you know whether i end up with a a 5300 or a 5100 soybean special or stick with my 510 grain drill this thing is just match made in heaven for it um this front end sticking out like that was designed so that you could mount front cultivators on it. Most M's and H's, you'll see, they don't have this. And that was, they pulled that to mount the cultivators. But I kind of like it out like that. And I've mentioned it several times, but I never assume that nobody's new watching my channel for the first time. So I'll tell you, it just acts as a front weight. Uh, this, is, this is kind of a punchy clutch. And uh, even in first gear, if you're even half throttle, it, it, it'll snap you back in the seat like you're doing 10 G's. And, uh, but, you know, with that, you, you, you don't even think about doing a, a wheelie. So let's keep going and growing. This field here is not too bad. Um, really what it needs, truthfully, is burnt. You know, you go around the edges with a disc and just enclose it with about a, a 10 foot wide dirt swath and then you just throw a match on it now uh a few years ago i got in some trouble and i don't mean legal trouble i mean life trouble um uh, i was i got overconfident co call it cocky whatever you want to call it and one got away from me and it got away from me to the point where i was stuck in it and there wasn't any way out and luckily i just i just pounded with the shovel until i almost passed out and that would have been the end of it. I, I'd have never woke up from it. But anyways, I made it out. And I swore after that day I wouldn't I wouldn't do uh, control burns ever again by myself. So I like to have two other guys here with flat shovels uh, ready to pound some, some stuff and keep it in control. Um, control burn is a real nice way to put it. Fire will do what it wants, believe me. But you can do a lot of things to control for where it goes and I, like i said i just diss the outer edge and then and then you're pretty good the creek's that way the creek's that way the railroad tracks are right there so it's it's only going to burn so far it's just uh and then the baseball field's green that's not burning and then there's a road that goes right along here so that ain't, it's not burning that way or too far that way actually i'd like to burn that pasture because i can tell you uh the buck i shot in 2020 the taxidermist sent me a picture of the cape and he says good thing you killed this deer because he was full of ticks and i mean the tick marks were astronomical now i'm not saying he got them all here but i haven't done a control burn in this pasture or the other one and i'm going to tell you the better part of three years so yeah let's keep going and growing Picking up some fodder. That's some trading fodder. I'll trade you that for seed and fertilizer. Baby. Okay with that. 